Hey, good morning, Motivational Drive by Coco here. How you doing today? It is a stupendous day, but it has been for the last like six or seven because I do them all in a row. Kind of a, you know, I should like, change my shirt or something, but nah, never mind. All right, we'll always wear the same thing, I suppose, but it's a beautiful day. Today's quote is by somebody I have no idea who they are. It's Barbara P.Y.M. Don't know who Barbara P.Y.M. is, but the quote's kind of amusing. It says, how absurd and delicious it is to be in love with somebody younger than yourself. Everyone should try it. How absurd and delicious it is to be in love with someone younger than yourself. Everyone should try it. I'm going to start with a statement I've made a, a bunch of times to you guys and like all the time in public. Age has nothing to do with your chronology. Age has to do with how old you think you are. And I always use the example of my father and my professor. My father is 83 going on 100. Bill, my professor, is 83 going on 63. My professor is three months older than my father, you know, his chronology though. <clears throat> but psychologically, biologically, my father's 100 years old if he's a day. In fact, it was funny, we were just talking and he, was, he went to a guy's birthday party. Um, he's at a assisted living area now, who's who turned 100 today. And the guy's walking and he's like laughing and joking and having a good time. My father hasn't walked in over two years. And I said to the guy, I said to my father, I said, ah, oh, he's doing better than you are. And he says, well, I'm not 100. <laughs> and he didn't get it. I was like, oh my God. That's right, Dad, you're only 83. And this guy is walking and talking and singing and dancing and having a good time, and you're not. So it went right over his head. My father believes he's old, and he is. My professor doesn't. <clears throat> so this whole premise where you know, how absurd and delicious <clears throat> to fall in love with somebody younger than yourself. Everyone should try it. Everybody should be it. <clears throat> I mean, throw out the rules, throw out the norms. It's crazy. You know, it's like, you know, people, I've had people tell me to grow up. And I look at them and say, why? <clears throat> what's, what's so big about growing up? I, my inner child runs me and I like it. And some people have a problem with that. Well, that's their problem, it's not my problem. I'm happy, I have, you know, I'm doing a lot of exciting things. I'm on a, you know, I'm on a mission. And, you know, it's really easy for guys <clears throat> to, to, you know, get involved with women who are younger. That's kind of like the norm. God, I hate that concept. I've been, I meet people who are all different ages, who are older than me, younger than me, the same age as me. I have met 38, 39, 40 year old women who are old, old, old women. <clears throat> and I know a few women who are my age and maybe even a skosh older who are not, who are immature, who are funny and laugh and are children at heart. Who would you rather be with? Who would you think, now, switching it around, who would want to be with you if you're an old, if you're a little old lady or a little old man? How boring is that? You know, oh, I'm going to catch my, I'm going to catch a cold. I need a babushka. I need, come on, stop the whining, you know, and stop this growing up nonsense, you know, Find that inner child. Start small. Find something that your inner child can run you on. And then let, you know, expand that step by step. Be that younger person. Now, if you're already in a relationship, already married, how fun could that be if you went home tonight with ice cream? And when you sat down for dinner, you ate the ice cream first. Or you brought an ice cream cake, ooh, or an ice cream pie, ooh. 
and you put that down, you cut a piece, and you, you sat down, and the two of you, or the three of you, or the four of you, or your entire family ate the ice cream cake first. You know, my aunt used to do that. I, when I traveled, my Aunt Wanda, you know, every, every Polish kid's got to have an Aunt Wanda. You know, you may not, her name may not be Wanda, but she was my matron aunt, and she was, you know, big boned, big boned. But when we would go out to a restaurant, she would always order dessert first. How cool is that? I mean, I love her. I mean, at the time it was like, she was a scourge. My parents made fun of that. Now I realize she had it right. My aunt Wanda was a savant way before her time. You know, you can take you can take a steak home, you can take the potatoes, you can take a meal in a doggy bag. You know, I only eat when I go to a restaurant I only eat, eat half anyway. I always ask for it to go container from the very beginning. Immediately put half in a container. But pie, but pie now? Even share a pie before dinner. You know when they say, Would you like an appetizer? Yes! I would like a piece of French silk pie, please. And a, you know, and two cappuccinos. And they look at you very strangely when you do that. Try it. I've done it. They look at you like you're mad. And just smile and say, is there something wrong with that? And they'll smile at you and laugh and they'll say, apparently not. And if they really give you crap, then you just leave a crummy tip. So, <clears throat> be preposterous. Be that younger person. Look for that person that, if, if you know, if not actually young, young at heart. Be that person at young at heart. And I went on and on and I love this topic. So have a most excellent, stupendous, amazing day and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.